Now that you've finished the advising breakouts, we're going to have you go ahead and get started on the first semester plan so an advisor can make sure you're on the right path. So uh, we're going to go ahead and click the Begin Now. This will bring up a form with short answers. Question 1 here is asking you to indicate what semester you're planning to start classes in. Question 2 is looking at are you planning to transfer to another school? Go ahead and indicate that there. And number three, are you planning to attend school as a part-time student or full-time? This will help the advisor make sure that your workload is going to work out for your time constraints. Number four, please indicate your writing level. Number five, your math level. Number six, what major are you planning to study here at LCC? And number seven here, indicate any activities or responsibilities like a job, hobbies, family that you have that might impact your studying time and your class availability. If you have a job, please indicate the job and how many hours a week that it's going to take. That way the advisor can help you out. 8 through 11 here are asking you to list the classes you're planning to take. If you're going to be a part-time student, you might only be taking one or two classes with us your first semester. If you're full-time, you might be taking three or four classes. The classes you write down in questions 8 through 11 are going to be based off the advising breakout sessions you just completed. If you forgot what you wrote down or you maybe you forgot to write anything down at all, you're going to want to go back to the advising breakout session, make sure that you complete that so that you can get your course schedule. Question 12 on the form here is allowing you to ask questions to the advisor. Anything about if your major and your coursework match or whether or not classes transfer to the school you're thinking of, it's a great spot for you to ask questions. You can also refer to the discussion board for the advisors located in Lesson 6. Once you're done with this, you're going to be able to click uh, Submit or Save. So if you're done, you're going to click Submit. It's going to ask you if you're wanting to proceed. We'll click OK. And if you've left anything blank, this is a good opportunity for you to review to make sure this is stuff that you need. If you don't complete it correctly, the advisor won't be able to do their job. So if you're done reviewing it, click OK. It'll submit the plan. We're going to go up to the navigational icon next, which will take us back to the progress bar. So now you've finished Lesson 6. There's two more to go in orientation. If you want to go ahead and get started in Lesson 7, just click the link and you'll be there.